Hi, everybody. Welcome back. Connecticut Technology Council's 15th Annual Women of Innovation Awards will honor women of all ages, making their mark in science, math, and more. And this year's ceremony includes something a little different, an award for one organization for promoting diversity in STEM. Joining us this morning, we have Christina Guzman-Toro, a finalist in the individual category, and we have Carrie Malt here, who is representing the winner of the organizational award, Medtronic, as well. First of all, good morning. Thank good you morning. both so much for being here, and congratulations are in order as well. This Thank is you. great. I know Thank that you, you both have been to this ceremony before. Tell us about it. Well, I'm very honored um, that I'm able to bring passion in everything that I do to Prada Winnie and the community, and that there's an organization that gives us the opportunity to be recognized mm. in, in something such as important as STEM, innovation, and our jobs in the community. That's great. And you, you've been nominated in the past as well. That's yes. quite an honor. Yeah. I've been nominated four times and finalist last year and this year, and it's a real honor. All right. And tell us from your perspective. Yeah. Medtronic has been a sponsor of the Connecticut Technology Council's Women of Innovation event for a couple of years, and it's really um, very at the core of what we're trying to do. We have uh, internal goals of having 40% women in leadership by 2020, and and we're almost there. Um, so it's very important for our, our um, employees and our company to really make sure that we have a gender equitable mm -hmm. uh, organization as well as a diverse organization, because that brings strength to the to the innovation. I think that's credible, and I think I was reading you're around 38% right now. We are. So yep. you are close. close. Tell me, is STEM something that's growing in popularity among women or is there do we need to you know sort of show them the way a little bit you know is are people more interested in this I, I think right. it's probably always been there but there needs to be a, a little bit more focus and encouragement for for the young women especially because yeah. it's male dominated um, yeah. for the it most is. part still right yes. yeah and my my um, priority has been always to serve as a role model for those young women who are interested in the STEM or in the career in engineering because, as you said, this is a male-dominant like world mm -hmm. and we like to show that but women, yeah, can do it too. women can do it too. Yeah, and this is something that, in my case, Prada Winnie allows me to do every single day by outreaching to the community, by becoming a part of an employee resource group, by taking advantage of the Employee Scholar Program and furthering my education and showing others what they can do. What are some of the jobs out there when people hear STEM, you know, at Pratt & Whitney or at Medtronic, what, what are some of the jobs that are available to women? Well, we or have, to everyone, of both our companies are very strong in engineering, obviously, mm -hmm, yeah. and there's, within engineering, there's a lot of different types of engineering. There is uh, design engineering or quality engineering, and in all these fields, we need uh, a diverse workforce to bring in different types of ideas and, and to really, truly innovate both of our, our industries uh, yes. for the better. Well, that's why this award ceremony is so important, and I should note that Jocelyn's going to be there as well. I'm excited. She's going to be hosting this year, um, and here are the details of the ceremony, and this is really a great networking opportunity right yeah. so if anybody is interested you should think about attending this it's March 27th at the Aquaturf uh, keynote speaker you see there Annie Lamont uh, tickets are still available yep. yes um, and uh, this must grow every year and you really encourage people to come out especially if they're considering a job in engineering absolutely yes. and we have a whole section of the Connecticut Technology Council's uh, woman program it also has a whole section for young women um, that are leaders already in high school and college and STEM fields so it's really a, a, a opportunity to honor and recognize all ages and, and um, uh, women in leadership. All right. Well, I want to congratulate you both again for really paving the way, and thank you for all that you're doing to encourage other women to get into STEM, too. It is so important. So thank you. Thank you. Appreciate thank you. it.